On this episode of China Uncensored, five common misconceptions people have about the Tiananmen Square Massacre. Hi, welcome to China Uncensored. I'm your host, Chris Chappell. 25 years ago, this image was seared into the mind and imagination of the world. But people have a lot of misconceptions about what actually happened. It certainly doesn't help that the Chinese Communist Party has been observing a 25-year-long moment of silence about the massacre, to this day hasn't released an official death toll, and tries to bury the story by referring to it simply as the June 4th incident. Not that they allow you to refer to it by that name either. So the first misconception is about the mysterious Tang Man. This did not actually happen on the day of the massacre. It actually happened the day after, on June 5th, after most of the killing was finished. Not that that takes away from the bravery of a man staring down a line of tanks, climbing on top of one, and demanding to talk to the guy inside. In fact, it adds to his bravery. He knew what happened the night before. The tanks, like those ones, had run people over in the streets. But he stood in front of them anyway. The second and third most common misconception people have are that students were massacred in Tiananmen Square. That's not really true. There was also plenty of killing happening on the streets of Beijing. Think about that if you ever visit. And students were only a small minority of the protesters. Of the more than a million who choked the streets of Beijing, only about 100,000 were students. The rest were academics and journalists, manual laborers, small businessmen, and party members. Why do we think of the students the most? Well, the students did start the protest, and they went on hunger strikes. Many of the other protesters would hold banners saying they were there to support the students. But there's another reason it was such a diverse crowd, and that's because of misconception number four. The protesters weren't calling for an end to the Communist Party, or even really a Western-style democracy. They were more concerned about official corruption, the rule of law, the party's monopoly on information and power, the kind of problems China is still suffering under today. Boy, good thing those counter-revolutionaries were all shot, or else who knows what China could be like today. It's actually the Communist Party that most often paints them as counter-revolutionaries trying to overthrow the government. That's how they justify the massacre, that it was necessary for preserving China, instead of just preserving the party's right to abuse total unchecked power. And finally, the other common misconception is that the protests only happened in Beijing. There were similar protests going on at the same time in more than 300 cities. And it wasn't just in Beijing where soldiers were sent in to kill. Though again, it's hard to say exactly how many were killed since there's no official death toll. Though we do know that at least in Beijing, the U.S. Embassy put the number at more than a thousand, and the Chinese Red Cross, no affiliation with the actual Red Cross, counted 2,600 deaths before retracting that statement. But perhaps the biggest misconception is something the Communist Party itself has. Officially, they call the protests counter-revolutionary riots, that they were justified in massacring them, and that the Chinese people now all agree it was the right thing to do. But I think they know better than that. Otherwise, why would the party try so hard to keep the massacre under wraps? They know if people ever widely understood what the Communist Party actually is and what they've actually done, they would take to the streets again. Since the beginning, the CCP has always put on a show of leading Chinese people to a glorious future, that it exists to serve the people. Well, they shot that idea dead in the massacre. Thanks for watching this episode of China Uncensored. But more importantly, thanks for joining together with people around the world and remembering something the Chinese Communist Party is trying so hard to get people to forget. I'm Chris Chappell. See you next time.